My name is Dan Schwartz. I'm one of the owners and the CEO here at Liftbridge Brewery in Stillwater, Minnesota. Hi, I'm Bob. I'm one of the owners of the Yard Hockey and Sports Training Center in Stillwater. Hi, my name is Ryan, co-owner of Pet Evolution. Uh, we are a pet food and supplies store, as well as grooming services. Hi, this is Tom Leonard, co-owner of Fury Motors. We are a beauty salon in Oak Park Heights, the Bluebell. My name is Dariush Moslami. My wife, Sarah, and I are the sole founders of Studio One Yoga. I'm Kelly Coffer and I'm co-owner of a store located on Main Street in Stillwater called Smith & Trade Mercantile. Uh, we serve and provide services to over 3,000 kids each year and employ over 50 employees. We've been a Minnesota company for 57 years, family owned, employing around 250 people at full employment. We feature and showcase over 45 Minnesota and St. Croix Valley artisans. We have over 100 employees between all of our locations. This uh, shutdown has impacted business uh, dramatically. Due to the slowdown in beer production, we've had to lay off a lot of employees and furlough people. Right now, we have furloughed more than half of our employees. We work um, on commission, so if we don't have clients and aren't working, we are not getting any income. We are not allowed to do any haircuts. Uh, we are not allowed to do any nail trims, any service for your family pets. Due to the bar shutdown, over half of our customers have been um, put out of business. Unfortunately, with no business right now, we have no ability to generate any revenue and pay those taxes, not to mention other expenses that haven't gone away. We still have payroll, we still have rent, we still have all these different things that we had to take care of immediately. What we have going forward right now is unsustainable and I don't know how much longer we can last. We need to maintain grooming services. We need to maintain nail trims for our family pets. It's a very essential service that, that our pets depend on us to give them. It doesn't only affect us, but it affects, affects the rest of the economy. We're not buying things from our suppliers. People aren't going out and about to, to do things. We need to open our doors. Right now in Stillwater, we have over 25 stores that are vacant. We cannot afford to lose any more stores. We have to open our doors. We thought a lot about how can we operate safely um, during this pandemic. We were one of the first ones to set up a drive-through service when we were allowed to do grooming, where customers would come through our drive-through, we would uh, get the dog from the vehicle and bring the dog inside with little to no contact with that, uh, that customer. We're sanitizing our counters, we're sanitizing our cars, and we're implementing all the social distancing rules necessary to operate. And keep social distancing would be to work with our clients one-on-one -on -one and make sure that we are six feet apart. We have practices in place on both fronts, from the fitness front to the restaurant front for a safe practice when we open back up again. Because we were working on that before we closed anyway. And make sure that our stations are clean, our equipment is clean, the capes are clean. We've implemented policies and practices for cleaning and, and PPE. We have learned over the 60 days what it takes to make an, a safe environment. We hope that the governor of Minnesota does reconsider uh, pet-related services. The sooner we can get our doors open, the better. We can do this, Minnesota. We can get our economy back on track and we can operate safely for our employees, for our customers, and for the betterment of Minnesota. We need to open our doors. We are essential businesses to our small towns. Let's get back to work, Minnesota. Cheers.